we all sing about like invincible love and craving for something, but what happens when you don't? What happens when when everybody thinks you should feel something, but then you don't? This is when I, I went cuckoo. I think that's the time for the slime. that I am involved <laughs> and the amount of effects and colors and vividness I want I'm a sucker for a visual when I write a song I automatically see the video and if it doesn't have a video it breaks my heart I'm writing an album now and the entire thing it has a visual and you can't have 12 songs have a visual what are you Beyonce? come on <laughs> obviously I'm not but you know, when we made Ricky Lake, it was the funnest because like, you know, I I grew up in American culture watching TV. We are all the globe grows on it. And I, I've watched this, this show, Ricky Lake. It was like the beginning of, of me discovering trash culture. Like, uh, and it's best and at its worst. And Ricky was my, my idol, my hero. And we took the entire video and I entered the junk food that mom would never let me have. Like, we live in Israel, seriously. We, a cheeseburger is like, and Cheetos and cheese whiz. When I was 13, I was in an exchange student program. I walked to my guidance counselor and I told him, listen, my brothers from Israel told me that they would kill me if I won't bring 20 cans of cheese whiz. Do you know what cheese whiz is? And he looked at me like he wants to puke. <laughs> and then he took me to the supermarket and I came back home with like 20 cans of cheese wheeze and I was the hero. Yeah. 
Yeah.